Hello and welcome to Ice TV English News. Let us first have a look at today's headlines. Anti-corruption cell has given conviction to 38 persons so far, says Chief Minister Anne Mirren. Chief Minister Anne Mirren lays foundation stone for Manipur Judicial Academy at Pangai. And International Mother Language Day observed in Manipur too. Now the news in detail. Chief Minister Anne Birain has informed the Manipur Legislative Assembly that the anti-corruption cell, which was set up as soon as the new government came to power, has given conviction to 38 persons of various departments according to their guilt so far. The Chief Minister was replying to a question asked by Congress MLA K. H. Joy Kishan in the House today. He said as many as 530 complaints had been lodged with the anti-corruption cell so far. Totally 354 cases have been registered and inquiry is going on in 307 cases. Another 307 cases have been disposed while trial is going on in 47 cases. Seven officials have been given stern warning, three officers have been deprived of retirement benefits and three personnel of 6th Battalion Manipur Rifles have been issued a last warning. Appointment orders of 11 employees had been cancelled, while 27 employees of different departments had been placed under suspension and departmental inquiry had been initiated. Two employees have been terminated, Chief Minister Anne Birain informed the House. Chief Minister Anne Birain lays foundation stone for Manipur Judicial Academy at Pangai in Kundrapung Assembly constituency this morning. The first ever Judicial Academy of the state would help the general masses, including the law-making bodies, remain updated in the field of legal affairs. Chief Justice of Manipur High Court, Justice Abhilasha Kumari, Law Minister L. Jainta Kumar, Judges of Manipur High Court, Justice Anne Kotishore and Justice K. H. Nobin and many other working in various law courts also attended the foundation stone laying ceremony. Chief Minister Anne Viren said, the Manipur Judicial Academy was inaugurated by Supreme Court Judge Justin Madan Lokur in 2013. Since the opening of the Academy, it has been functioning in the office complex of the Manipur High Court at Mantipukri. The new building of the Academy will be constructed with an estimate cost of more than 93.5 crore rupees. As per the DPR prepared by the state PWD, the new buildings for the Manipur Judicial Academy will include an academy building and administrative block, hostel for both male and female trainees, quarters for director, deputy director, faculty members, etc. The Chief Minister expressed happiness over learning that not only the judicial officers but also the government advocates, public prosecutors and private advocates will as well be provided training facilities in the academy. He expressed hope that the academy will function more efficiently once the new building is completed. It will enhance the knowledge of the people's engaged in the field of law in the state more effectively. Uh, the DC consent will examine the required lands, cast land or something. It can be purchased, direct, direct purchase or allotment, any kind of things it required. Uh, DC has to submit a report at our ears so that we can take off the allotment process. Thank you all. Addressing the gathering at the foundation stone laying ceremony, Law Minister L. Jainta Kumar said, The area allocated for the construction of the new buildings of the Judicial Academy measures 22.28 acres. He drew the attention of the DC of Imphal East District to allocate more area of land so that the academy can be expanded into a proper law university in future. On the other hand, Justice Abhilasha Kumari said, the academy will help build good relations between the executives and the judiciaries. She drew the attention of the chief minister to fill up the shortage of the manpower in the academy. 25 acres of land at Bangay, Imphal East District for the establishment of the Judicial Academy has fructified today. Of course, the total requirement of land for establishing a proper Judicial Academy 
which would contain a national law college is about 100 acres. We do hope that this aspect will also be taken into consideration by the Honorable Chief Minister so that Manipur will have not only a judicial academy of its own but also its national, a separate national law college. Today is International Mother Language Day and the day was observed in Manipur too, as done in other parts of the world. Department of Language Planning and Implementation observed the day under the theme Linguistic Diversity and Multilingualism Count for Sustainable Development as the office of the department at Old Lambulan. Director El Mahabir and language activist Lehau Thabam Sarachandra among others attended the observance. Speaking on the occasion, Director El Mahabir said, Several ethnic languages of smaller communities in Manipur are dying, maintaining that the trend of parents teaching their children to speak in English as soon as they start going to school is wrong. El Mahabir emphasized on mastering one's mother tongue first before start learning second a language. Or as I mass literacy program that I multilingual lingualism I have a man on the introduced or basic education here for having me and the things of the fact that Nana I could be literate or invited like to handle Gyan, the handle basic information will have the same as he told them the honor for that was the equity. Puno Mama Lunch is a very more innovation said Piva as a number of the world and I had to say you and the other one was going to him or whatever. As observed all over the world, International Mother Language Day was also observed at Kumbrai Lalpam Mandap, Tera Amudon Lairak. The program was organized by all around upliftment development organization, Tera Kaitel, cooperator of Ward No. 7, R.K. Jitan, president of around Morangthem, Naukumba Morangcha, Pradhan of Bijoy Govinda Gram Panchayat and Salam Pradeep Singh were the chief guest, president and guest of honor respectively. Two destitute persons were presented with one rice bag each. Many speakers opined that efforts of promoting our mother language will lead to recognition of our script. On the other hand, International Mother Language Day was also observed at Manipur Press Club, organized by Sahitya Taupanglo, Director of DIPR, Meghachandra Kongbam and President of Manipur Language Development Committee, El Sarachandra attended the observance. As distributed every year by Sahitya Thaupang Loop, the Sui Janarish CCT Mother Tongue Award has been conferred to language activist Lamabam Gojendra. International Mother Language Day was observed at the Conference Hall of SK Women's College, Vishnupur District, organized by NSS Unit 1 and 2 of the college. Principal of the college and Joy Kumar and Research Associate of ICSSR New Delhi Dr. L. Mohindra attended the observance. As part of the observance, a, comp a competition was also held among the students of the college based on mother language. Principal N. Joy Kumar said, It is need of the hour to save our language before the invasion of different languages. As part of the ongoing serial opinion seeking in connection with inclusion of Mitei Maitei in Scheduled Tribe list launched by Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee, Opinion was also sought uh, from former Director of Family Welfare, Dr. Tri Bilashini, Convener of the Committee, Mutum Churamani, Executive Member, R.K. Taraksana and Tayanjam Kogendra. Kogendra attended the meeting. Dr. Bilashini opined that before the entry of Ramanandi religion in Manipur, people were living with peace and harmony, but differences came up in 18th century after its entry. Mitei Maitei was included in scheduled tribe list in the past. It was only when Manipur was merged to India, non-inclusion in the list was announced. Fear of extinction of the community with the coming of Act East policy and impact of globalization can be erased from the minds of the people, only when it is included in the scheduled tribe list. She expressed the need of the government to look into the matter since it is a reasonable demand. Tribe demand committee na tanbiri ba sigumba wakalon se. Masih aku pun nak makna amat tahu ina. Bukjel kau jangan amat tina na. Yang minat lagi dia kau isoi dengan panggani. Kali gumba aku gisu point lebih lagi. Esokum esokum apa point sing cak kau tas tahu i. Kau oi bersida kasu akai belai ti. Kau i saya su horok ke dulu me am sida. Kau dong sah bese oi ni. Kau mani pura cak tri bese. So in makik kerdi cak kau pahil lagi. Lengah atas so kau in hajen ingi se. Interest i lobi dehaga kemai tau dina. Kau isi sanggah lagi. 
कमाए तो उधर ने स्टीमलाइन से दस चंग बसी दाखोई की खरा कैरा था भी बतो अधु थोक के दगे है ना कोई खन्नग बा मतम ओयर बनियो कोई ना मणिपुर की सुम्बा में ते ट्राइब सिंग से सिसु सेदुल का सेदुल ट्राइब की सिदा जनबगी अनुभव आमा हैप्पी रख पड़ता कशुम भाव लून थोप नत्ते बा अधु मरम दु सार गदी मोइना इलायलायन हैप्� King of Manipur, Leshemba Sanajawa, took oath of the newly appointed members of Disam headquarters 2018-20 at Sanakonong Palace Compound. Present President of Disam also attended the oath-taking ceremony. New President of Disam, Salam Akash, General Secretary, Shital Oinam and many members took the oath. Leshemba Sanajawa asserted that many organizations have been working tirelessly for the welfare of the students. Education is necessary along with working for the society. Moreover, eminent personalities were also once a part of such organizations, he added. The long-term unrepaired Kongba Laishram Lekai Bridge, which has created immense inconveniences to the people, have been repaired by President of Kongba Laishram Lekai Youth Club. General Secretary of the club, Ningombam Nilamani, said, Failure of authority concerned to repair the bridge in spite of repeated appeals, President of the club, and Naba extended financial assistance of 20,000 rupees and repaired the bridge. Vishnupur District Demand Committee against erratic PDS supply under NFSA has alleged that contractors have swindled the quota of food grain for eight months of 2016-17. Addressing a press meet at Manipur Press Club, President of the Committee L. Sarojini said, relevant documents of collecting the quota for eight months from the godown by the contractor Jagjit have been obtained from the related officer. Earlier, the same person had also proposed of paying rupees 5 lakh when the committee held talks with him regarding such manipulation. The president also appealed the authority concerned to probe and find out the truth behind such malpractices. Kongjum Battle Memorial Committee Manipur today claimed that it has come to light that the whereabouts of the report submitted by six member committee formed by government to find the fact behind a disputed date of Kongjum War is not known now. The committee was formed by the then government after con governor instructed to form an expert committee to find out whether the actual date of Kongjum War was April 23rd or April 25th. Addressing a press conference at Manipur Press Club, Secretary of Kongjom Battle Memorial Committee, Shingtam Luang said, The report was long held up at the Chief Minister's office. However, when the committee tried to trace the report recently, Department of Art and Culture informed that the report has been misplaced. Shingtam Luang urged the government to trace the file and also take befitting action against those involved in misplacing the report. Manipur Organic Mission Agency has been making all possible efforts to increase the Kachai lemon produced at Kachai village in Ukrul district. The agency aims at making the lemon growers of the area able to export lemon to outside state within a couple of years. It has also been organizing various training programs for the lemon growers of the area. The farmers are being trained on protection of lemon trees from various plant diseases and drying up symptoms. Pecahna production itu yang ketan je, hari hari ni, ikhoy cinggi lau ubami sini na, matam matam dah, lay nak kiri kiri lay pra, hari na department dekik koy rak raga, as as lay re, simdam si dah si kapiro si kapiro hari na, hari hari ni, ikhoy ni production je, hari na yang ket kini hari na. Villages residing around Dolai Thabi Barrage in a meeting held at Pukhau Terapur Kaithel have strongly opposed the proposed inauguration of the project on March 16 before completion. The meeting was attended by chiefs of villages, representatives of clubs, organization and Mayra Paibi. Secretary of Dolai Thabi Barrage, Land Owners, Joint Action Committee and Nageshwar said, People living around the barrage have long been waiting for the completion of the project for more than 30 years. 
However, inauguration of the dam at this stage is unacceptable. He also expressed that normally 20 to 30 laborers worked at the site, but if there is news of chief minister or other minister is visiting the site, then more than 200 to 300 laborers would be engaged for the work. There were instances of chiffoning iron and cement meant for the project and therefore even in the project, even if the project is completed, there is an apprehension that quality might have been compromised. The meeting resolved to collectively oppose the inauguration of the project proposed by the government. In completion of canals that will provide benefits to the surrounding areas has raised question that the project will give no benefits to the people living in the vicinity. The meeting also warned of intense agitation if the government tries to inaugurate it forcibly. BDO of Moirang City Block K. Jadumani today inspected the ongoing digging up work for a new public pond under MGN REGA at Tangjeng Chingyalekai in Borayangbi. Gram Panchayat, a job card holder woman, said the present working style is different from that used to be followed in the past. As such, the workers have been facing some difficulties. She drew the attention of the authority concerned to ease the difficulties of the workers. On the other hand, expressing satisfaction over the untiring efforts of the workers, BDO K. Jadumani appealed to all job card holders to work with a sense of ownership. <laughs> One day awareness on Dindayal Upadhyaya Gramin Kushal Yojana for block level office PRI member village authority and CSCs under Bishnupur district was held at Panchayat Research Center, DC office complex at Bishnupur Mini Secretariat. The program was jointly organized by Manipur State Skilled Mission and Manipur State Rural Lifeline Mission under district administration. Adhyaksha of Bishnupur, Dr. T. H. Romabai, ADM Bishnupur and Gojendro, Upa Adhyaksha, L. Dinesh, SDO Bishnupur, Lalita and representative of State Mission Manager Manipur, K. Bobi attended the program. Molnoy Area Welfare Council and Chingtam Apunbanupilup, Palel have drawn the attention of the government to reopen the Molnoy post by keeping personnel of IRB or Manipur rifles at the post as before. Personnel of eight Manipur rifles were removed from the post for general election and since then, government has not sent any security forces at the post. Spokesperson of Molnoy Area Welfare Council, Lilam Mate, urged the government to resend security forces at the post in view of law and order situation in Palel and its adjoining areas. Security tham bi na bagi da wang ta lam si donet tau bani ano bo. How is the government kariyam ta yung sin bide? When any force or any department ako na tham ba pa mi? District Handloom and Textile Office Tamenlong organized an awareness program on cotton plantation at Akwe Village in Barak Valley area. Project Manager of District Handloom and Textile Office Tamenlong and Ibo Yaima, District Agriculture Officer. Todigang Panmai and Chairman of Akhoi Village, Rapalung Panmai, graced the occasion. Royal Academy of Law, Oinam and District Legal Services Authority under the supervision of Manipur State Legal Services Authority organized a one-day legal service program at Taubul High School in Bishnupur District. District and Sessions Judge Bishnupur C.H. Brajachand, Brajachand, Pradhan of Taubul Gram Panchayat, Thokchom Ongbi Nanaubi, Principal of Royal Academy of Law, I. Jugeshwar, and President of Taubul Youth Development Association, Thokchom Dirain, attended the program. District and Session Judge C. H. Brajachand said, Unwanted incidents occur in the state due to language barrier. The program is organized to understand the necessity of different languages. Bishnampur Wusu Association expressed gratitude to Naurem Roshibina, who secured gold medal in the 60 kg category, and her coach M. Prem Kumar. Roshibina represented as Indian team in the international Wushu competition held in Moscow from February 6th to 20th. Now the headlines once again. Anti-corruption cell has given conviction to 38 persons so far, says Chief Minister Anne Virain. 
Chief Minister Anne Birain lays foundation stone for Manipur Judicial Academy at Pangai. And International Mother Language Day observed in Manipur too. Well, that's all for now. Keep watching ISTV for more news.